So not if, but when a cure for aging does happen and is available for most people, if not all people that want to, how will people die? Well, I've thought of five ways people will still die, even though the cure for the diseases of aging and aging itself are once, you know, uh, eliminated, there still will be many ways people will still die. And I've thought of five of them. So if you can think of any more, let me know. One, basketball sized hail and or other extreme weather. It's true, our planet is changing. It always has and always will. We've been through, this planet has been through many ice ages, many uh, extinction level events. It's been uh, much hotter. This, the earth actually started out like very, very warm. Uh, back before we know life as we know it, this earth was just nothing but just um, a very, very hot rock floating through the universe. And how do we know that it wasn't before that uh, a livable planet? How do we know? We don't. We don't know anything. So this earth has been through many changes and will continue to change and nothing is is stable nothing is forever we would have to get total control over our weather in order to prevent anything uh any catastrophic weather changes in the future and um i don't know maybe you know there are things that people um see uh black uh black project what they call black budget projects or or um different things in the military, uh, cloud seeding, weather, weather modification. You know, there are a lot of you know, weather wars even. There are a lot of different things um, that our government might be doing, experimenting with the weather that we don't even know about. However, um, as far as having like total control over our weather, I don't believe that's happening now. And I don't know when it would happen ever happen in the future i think that weather could be weaponized and and still people could die many people could die um through you know like i say golf ball or or ball um you know size huge size you know hail um i actually got caught in a hail storm a couple years ago and it it damaged my car pretty bad i've got like little dings all over my car and some people even had their windows smashed in by the hell it was so bad and yeah it seems like it's getting a lot stronger and it's scary because you could be outside it could be sunny out maybe and you could just be walking along and all of a sudden it could start hailing it, it could hit you and kill you so i could see that happening um other things um tornadoes hurricanes floods i mean all kinds of things like that can kill humans. And again, it could actually be weaponized and it could be, um, yeah, it, it, it could kill a lot of people as you can, or may or may not can imagine, but that's a, a one way lots of people could die, even if they don't die from aging. Definitely weather related things, okay? So another way too would be uh, unmodified humans. So I think that the way we will uh, combat and eliminate aging is we will modify ourselves um, in a way that we don't, that we don't simply just don't age. However, it's a choice. Uh, if you don't want to modify yourself so you don't age, then of course you don't have to. So unmodified humans, um, they will die of, of aging diseases. And that's their choice, and they should be allowed to. Um, three, landing on a dangerous planet. Okay, so if we live long enough for like hundreds of years, I'm sure eventually with super AI technologies and um, computers that are actually smarter, when I say super AI, I mean like AI, artificial intelligence, 
that's actually much smarter than humans could ever be. Um, they could give us like all our answers to all our questions, to all our problems. They could solve everything that would include traveling to other planets. So, you know, maybe um, we want to go to a particular planet. And even though AI says, oh, you shouldn't go to this one because it's it can be dangerous, um, we might just be like, well, but it's worth it because it's a beautiful planet. And we need um, more places to move to because our planet's dangerous and it's getting old and it doesn't like us anymore. So we need to go to a better planet where the environment and the weather is much more friendly to us. So we go to another planet and there could be like aliens there that would um, maybe kill us and eat us or something, dinosaurs or something, I don't know. But yeah, just dangerous places that we might travel through in space could kill us. So four would be asteroids again this earth has had lots of asteroids hit it just look at the moon and it's had many asteroids hit it so if we live to be hundreds of years old eventually an asteroid an asteroid could actually get us and five again it goes back to the unmodified that would be um yourself killing yourself because uh again not everybody maybe not everybody wants to live forever maybe after you've lived for like 500 years you decide that's it that everyone you've ever known or loved is gone by either asteroids weather climate or they travel to another planet and they never came back so after like living like that and seeing lots of people like in your life gone you just might decide that's it that you don't want to continue on anymore and you just stop your treatments and you would die so can you think of anything else? I don't know. Take care.